Yes, the Council of Ministers in its meeting number 8, 2022, said today shared by His Excellency President Selfakir Mayadid, and uh, as usual, it confirmed and adopted the resolutions of the Council of Ministers number 6, 20, uh, number 8, 2020. And uh, thereafter, it listened to a memo presented by, by uh, the Minister of Information, Communication, Technology, and Postal Services, who is, in fact, the chairperson of the Joint Border Commission. They made a presentation, a briefing to the Cabinet on the, on the progress report on the implementation of the Border Issues Agreement. It is worth mentioning that border issues agreement was is that agreement which was signed in Addis in 20, uh, 2012. And uh, on that, the commission was formed, and the Joint Border Commission is continuing with the implementation and negotiating with the government of South Sudan, of Sudan. So the presentation was made and the explanation was made and the pro problems that are being faced by the committee were highlighted. And, uh, and uh, as it is very clear on this map, as well, according to the presentation which was made on this map, this is the map which included the disputed and claimed areas between the Republic of South Sudan and the Republic of Sudan. And, uh, and uh, this also included agree areas which were agreed. But after that, the government of Sudan presented a different map altogether. This is the map which they presented. This map was a complete reneg reneging from the agreed road map and from the agreed map and the agreed areas of the, of the borders. So the the government of Sudan uh, reneged from the from the from the agreed areas and came up with a different map, which took over actually most of the areas in the, in the northern part of South Sudan, including the whole area of Maban. So uh, the uh, the presentation was discussed and uh, and passed by the cabinet. Uh, the presentation also included uh, included uh, payment of some funds for the for the preparation for the talks, and uh, the, the the presentation was appreciated and approved by the cabinet, uh, and the, with the minister directed to make the same presentation to the transitional revitalized transitional legislative assembly for their information was passed and uh, that was it. Then the cabinet listened to a presentation, also a progress report from Honorable uh, Mary Nawai, the Minister of Parliamentary Affairs, in which she presented the, pre the progress report and the progress report was from August 2022 to March, Ma 20, August 2021 to March 2022. The report covered all the activities that were covered by then, and uh, and uh, and the basic problems or the major problems that are facing the ministry. Uh, it is worth mentioning that uh, this ministry, of course, was established, but unfortunately, it could not make any headway, and so the minister presented all the problems of the ministry, and the cabinet approved the presentation and the requirements that are needed for the full establishment of the ministry. So the Minister of Finance was also directed to pay all these uh, required uh, payments accordingly so that the, the, um, so that the, the ministry can take off. Uh, in addition to that, it is unfortunate that uh, the the cabinet is also informed about the unfortunate passing away of, uh, of our elder and veteran and uh, 
elder and veteran John Kazuk, who passed away yesterday, and the council passes its condolences to the family of the deceased and wish them the strength and uh, may, the, may the almighty God rest his soul in, in eternal peace. It is worth mentioning that uh, brother John Kazuk is an elder, he's a veteran, a fighter, uh, a nationalist who dedicated his life for the service of the people of South Sudan. And his death today is a great loss to the people of South Sudan, to the family, and to all of us. So may the God, may Almighty rest his soul in eternal peace. Uh, after that, the, the cabinet listened to the unfortunate uh, a report or a statement by the min by the a statement by the governor of Eastern Equatoria State on the unfortunate uh, burning of the state secretariat. It is unfortunate. Uh, this uh, the, the state the cabinet took note of that. It is unfortunate situation. And uh, and uh, the government will see how best they will assist the state government in the renovation and the construction of that uh, that building. It is, it is worth mentioning that uh, in that building, a lot of precious documents have been lost, which is uh, very unfortunate. Uh, but uh, there's nothing we can do about it because that is uh, could be. We don't know. A uh, whereby committee will be set up by the by the governor to investigate into that and uh, find out exactly what happened. It is worth mentioning that fire just broke out in the morning, yesterday morning, which was very unfortunate. And uh, and uh, we wish them uh, the best. <laughs>